This is the Franca Emica Arm Control Framework. The summary of the project is that we created a MATLAB library for controlling the Panda 7 DOF arm, which includes a novel analytical kinematic solver, as well as a symbolic dynamic model. We also define trajectories that the robot will navigate, either loaded or unloaded, and this is all encompassed by a GUI for the control of the Panda arm. So the first step of the, ro to, of the inverse kinematics is to flip the robot. This will allow us to use our inverse kinematics methodology on this robot. So the first step to solve this robot is to set the theta one offset. The Panda is a seven DOF arm and a end effector frame transform only provides for six parameters. We therefore have to set a seventh parameter. And therefore we decided to set the theta one offset. This allows us to solve for theta one. Now we can solve for the D value. This is the distance from the end of T zero to two to this wrist center. Once we have this value, we can then solve for theta four. Now that we have solved for theta four, we have to solve for the rest of the arm. The problem is that our current IK methodology requires that we not have an offset at theta four. Therefore, we have to create a function that converts the real pandas theta four to a virtual theta four. This also means that our D5 and the DH parameters must be converted to a virtual D5 to take into account this new virtual four and this robot arm without an offset. Now, once we have thetas one and four, we can then solve for the flipped pandas theta two and three. Now that we have solved for thetas one through four, we can then solve for the kinematically decoupled wrist. This means we can solve for thetas five, six, and seven. Also, using our inverse kinematics methodology, we do not have to worry about a degenerate wrist solution. Once we have thetas one through seven, we now have to unflip the arm. This means that theta one is theta seven, theta two is theta six, and so on. Now we can then plot the panda. For the analytical dynamic model, we use the Lagrange Euler approach, which depends on the use of the Lagrange equation, which is kinetic energy minus potential energy. From this, we are able to derive the Euler-Lagrange equation of motion through a time derivative and a partial derivative with respect to angular velocity and a partial derivative with respect to the theta angle. Through a series of algorithms, we are able to convert this to the standard matrix vector form, which consists of the inertia, Coriolis, and gravity matrices, which will give us the torques for each angle. Here you can see a demonstration of our inverse kinematic solution iterating across a number of points that are changing in the z-axis.